welcome to my channel. My name is Dina. On this episode of the Rainbow Shadow series, we're going to be dipping into a purple eyeshadow. So if you're interested in seeing a purple eyeshadow tutorial, then I'll see you back in a sec. So before we start dipping into eyeshadow, it's very important that we do prime our eyelids with an eyeshadow primer. Now, if you're new to my channel, my favorite eyeshadow primer is the Shop Miss A primer. You want to apply it with a synthetic brush and wait for it to dry completely. Now, once your eyeshadow primer is dry, now you want to move in with your natural eyeshadow palette. If you need help picking out a basic eyeshadow set, refer to my eyeshadow tutorial video where I help you pick out your basic eyeshadow set colors and then come on back to this video so that way we can be on the same page in achieving this purple eyeshadow look. So the very first color that we're going to dip into in our basic eyeshadow set is this flat white color right over here. So I'm just going to coat both sides of my really large blending brush. I also link down below for you all the brushes that I am using and all the brushes that I am using are under $8 so very inexpensive. They are from e.l.f. So I'm going to take this flat white color and I'm going to place it all the way from my lower lash line to up underneath my eyebrows. So this is just going to be our blank canvas before we move on with actual color. If you just put an eyeshadow primer on your eyelid and then move in with color, it's not going to blend and it's not going to look as soft. So it's very important to prime your eyelids and then set it with a flat white color. Perfect. Now I'm just going to add a teeny bit more on my inside corner because I do want this specific look to look a little bit brighter on the inside corner. So just take a little bit extra and place it right at the inside corner. Now before I dip into a different color, if you don't have a lot of brushes to work with, Shop Miss A has this in-between brush cleaner that is dry so you can dip into a different color right after cleaning it and it's only one dollar. So this is great. I went ahead and linked it for you down below if you don't have brushes to work with or if you just don't have a large variety of brushes to work with. Okay, so moving on to our crease color. So now I'm going to dip into my natural crease color which is this pink undertone color right over here. So I'm not going to move in to anything bronzy just yet. So I'm just going to coat both sides of my brush and I'm going to top off the excess and I'm going to place this color right in my crease. So I'm just going to go back and forth right in the crease. I'm not going to put anything on my eyelid. I just want to focus this color specifically on the crease. Perfect. So now I'm going to take that same flesh tone crease color and do the same thing on the other side. Great. Once you're done applying your natural crease tone color, now we're just going to enhance the crease ever so gently. So I'm not going to dip into this bronzy color. I'm going to bounce between a cool tone brown and a warm tone brown. So I'm going to make this a neutral crease tone look. So I'm just going to coat both sides of my brush with those two colors and I'm going to tap off the excess and then I'm going to place those two colors in my crease as well. So I'm not taking this in the outside corner at all. So I'm just leaving it right at the crease. So you can see how we're slowly starting to enhance the eyeshadow, but we're not moving into anything too dark or too harsh because we do overall want it to be very seamless. Great, so now I'm going to coat both sides of my brush and do the same thing on the other side. Great, now once you're done applying your two crease tone colors, just take a look in a further mirror, make sure they are even on both sides. And now we're going to make it even more smoky. So for this step, you're going to need your medium sized crease brush. Go ahead and coat both sides of your brush with a reddish brown color. So I'm just going to take this reddish brown color, so nothing too brown. I'm still working on something in the medium tone brown. And I'm going to take this color and I'm going to place it now on the outside corner of my eyelid. So we don't have any color here right now because we just applied stuff to the crease. So now we're starting to work the color down to our eyelid. So just placing it at the outside corner, kind of in a V shape. So you can go like this. And then whatever is left over on your brush after blending it, Take it right onto the crease, but just halfway. So don't go all the way to the inside corner. 
just ever so gently start to fade it up to the two natural crease tone colors that we did so everything is really soft and really blended so now I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side great now once you're done applying that color to the outside corner of your eye now we're going to blend and soften all the work we just did so for this specific step you're going to need a clean blending brush so always have one brush on the side that is specifically just for cleaning and blending great so now I'm just going to take this clean brush and just use the tip of the brush just to soften all the work that we just did. Perfect. Now wipe it off on your hand or on a tissue or on the in-between brush cleaner before you move on to the other eye just to make sure we're not transferring any pigment from one eye to the next eye. Great. Once you're done softening all the work that we just did, now we're gonna move on to our lower lash line. So for our lower lash line, we're gonna need a really small blending brush. So the smallest blending brush out of all the blending brushes that we are using. And for this step, we're just gonna dip into this color right over here to this cool tone brown. And I'm gonna coat both sides of my brush and I'm really gonna make sure that all the excess powder is off my brush because I don't wanna risk getting any eyeshadow into my eye. So now I'm gonna take this cool tone brown color and I'm gonna place it right up underneath my lashes. Be sure to grab a handheld mirror for this step. Don't look into an actual mirror. You need something that's up really, really high just so that way you can get really close to the lower lash line. Now, if you are comfortable, you can look up. I personally feel more comfortable looking up. I just know that I'm getting really, really close to the lower lash line. If not, go ahead and take a look into your mirror. Now I'm just going to add one more coat because for this specific eye look I want it to be a little bit smokier. So I'm just going to take one more coat and place it right up underneath my lashes. And this step is really important because it does blend the whole eyeshadow look together. So when I look at you straight into the camera, you could see how if I don't put any eyeshadow on my lower lash line, it can make my eyeshadow look too made up or too heavy. So overall, just adding a little bit of eyeshadow to your lower lash line, it does make it look a little bit softer and more blended. So now I'm going to do the same color on the other side. Great, now once you're done applying that cool tone brown to your lower lash line, grab your clean blending brush and just swipe it right up underneath your eye just to make sure there's no harsh lines of the eyeshadow and where it meets your makeup. Great, now once we're done applying all of our base colors, now I'm gonna show you the eyeshadow palette. If you're new to my channel, that inspired me to do the Rainbow Eyeshadow Series. Also too, if you are new to my channel, I do like finding the best alternatives and the best dupes for you. So this palette is only $20 from Amazon. The ingredients are non-toxic, they are very pigmented, and they blend so beautifully, so I highly recommend this eyeshadow palette. So it comes with two different pans. So this is the first pan right over here. It has a really beautiful selection of colors. And then I'm gonna show you this pan right over here. It has a really gorgeous selection of neutrals and pinks and purples. So since we are doing a purple eyeshadow look today, I am gonna be dipping into this pan right over here. So I'm not gonna use this one whatsoever. So I'm just gonna set this one aside and then we're gonna start dipping into this eyeshadow palette. Okay, so before I start moving into actual color, you're gonna notice this neutral row that's right over here. So I'm gonna dip into this color. It's a chocolate brown color. And I'm gonna use my medium sized blending brush. So the inspo behind this purple eyeshadow look is a look that I used to wear throughout high school. So I was really obsessed with this rich plum purple brown smoky eye look. So I'm going to kind of recreate and do something very similar to my high school eyeshadow look. So I'm going to pay my tribute to that eyeshadow and show you just my evolution of makeup. So I'm going to dip into that chocolate brown eyeshadow and I'm going to place this right at the outside corner of my eye. I used to love this eyeshadow look throughout high school. It was just so soft and so pretty. And this was like my everyday smoky eye that I would wear. And I just wasn't a fan of anything that was too harsh. So this was just the perfect combination of smoky eye for me personally. So I think you guys are really gonna love this look. So I'm placing this chocolate brown color right at the top part of my lashes. 
and then whatever's left over I'm just sweeping it to my crease so now I'm going to take that same color and apply some on the other side and I'm not applying too much product either I'm just taking a teeny bit of product because I do want to start building the color gradually great now once you're done applying that chocolate brown we're going to add just one more coat Perfect, so once you're done applying that chocolate brown color to the outside corner of your eye, now we're gonna start moving on with purple. So the purple shade that I'm gonna dip into is this color right over here, so just a really rich purple. And it also has more of a plum undertone, so nothing too bright. So I'm gonna coat both sides of my medium size blending brush, and then be sure to really thoroughly tap off the excess pigment whenever dealing with color just so that way you don't transfer too much color to your eyelid or have any fallout on your face. So I'm just making sure that there's not a lot of pigment on there and then I'm going to take this really rich purple and I'm going to place it right at the top part of my crease. Now for this step I do want it to be a sheer application so as you can tell I'm going back and forth I'm not focusing just on that spot so I don't want it to be super concentrated I just want a really sheer application of purple. So now I'm gonna take that same purple and apply some on the other side. So I'm just gonna take it to the top part of my crease and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of color going back and forth right at the top part of my crease. So as you can tell, I'm not going to the lower lash line or the top part of my lashes. I'm just staying right at the top part of the crease great so now i'm just going to add a teeny bit more color with that same color so like i said i do like to gradually add my colors so i'm just going to add one more coat great once you're done adding that purple color to the outside corner of your crease now grab your blending brush and just soften the work that you just did Okay, once you're done blending and softening the two colors together, now take your medium-sized blending brush and clean it off completely. So now we're gonna dip into a different purple color. So now I'm going to enhance and deepen the outside corner of my eyes. So for this specific step, we are going to take this color right over here. So just a really dark, rich purple. So the color that's right next to it. And then I'm going to tap off the excess product. This color is so bright and so rich and so beautiful. So I'm just gonna take this really intense purple color and I'm gonna place it right at the outside corner of my eye. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna place it right over here. So just right at the outside corner. So I'm gonna add a teeny bit more product. Great, so I'm really focusing it right at the outside corner. Perfect. So you can really see that true bright purple starting to shine through right here, right at the outside corner. Great. So now I'm going to add that same bright purple on the other side. So I'm just placing it right at the outside corner. I'm not bringing it in at all. You can even bounce your brush up and down if you'd like to just to make sure that you're not moving that placement of the pigment. Now once you're done applying that purple color again take your blending brush and just soften the application. You'll notice that I'm going to be softening and blending all of my colors after I deposit the color. If you wait until you're done doing your eyeshadow and then take your blending brush, you will mix all the colors together. So it's very important that you do blend your eyeshadow step by step. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my really small brush that I use for my lower lash line. And now I'm going to dip into black. So I'm going to dip into a black, but it doesn't have any shine. It's just a matte black color. So again, I'm using that really small blending brush. And I'm gonna tap off the excess powder just to make sure that we for sure don't get any of that pigment anywhere because you can only imagine how messy that black pigment can be. Great, so now I'm gonna take this eyeshadow and I'm gonna place it really, really close to my lower lash line. I'm just gonna dip into a little bit more pigment 
and I'm going to place that really, really close to my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to start taking it right up underneath my eye. And I'm going to hold my mirror up really high because I, now I want to start layering this black eyeshadow on top of the brown eyeshadow. Perfect. So now I'm going to add just one more coat of that black eyeshadow to the outside corner of my eye and actually physically put it on the outside corner. I know a lot of people will place it right here at the outside corner, like at the top part of the, at the top part of their eyelashes, but actually physically take it to the outside corner and make sure that you are connecting the two lash lines. Great, so as you can see, that black is slowly starting to make this eyeshadow a little bit more heavy and a little bit smokier. So now I'm gonna take that same black eyeshadow and apply it to the outside corner on my other side. Okay, once you're done applying that black eyeshadow to the outside corner of your eye, now grab your blending brush and double check and make sure that it's clean and then just soften that black eyeshadow and really make sure that it's blended and everything is really soft. Great, now once you're done making sure that everything is really soft and really smoky, now I'm gonna focus more on my crease. So for this step, you are going to need your crease brush, so the really large blending brush, and we are going to dip into this shade that's right over here. So you'll notice that it's right on top of that chocolate brown color that I use, so just this reddish brown color, and I'm gonna dip both sides of my brush into this color. And I'm gonna place it right in my crease. So I'm going to take that reddish brown color, I'm not going to place it over the work that we just did. So I'm just focusing it right at the inside corner of my eye. Okay, once you're done applying that chocolate brown color to your crease, now I want you to take your really small blending brush that we use for the lower lash line. Make sure it is clean because we did use it for a black eyeshadow. Now go ahead and dip into that same exact chocolate brown color, coat both sides of your brush. Really make sure that there is no excess powder. And now I want you to take this and move it right to the inside corner of your eye. So we did do a purple and black at the outside corner. Now we're starting to bring in color to the middle part of our eye. So we're mirroring the same work that we did at the top part of our eye. So since we just did the crease, now we're gonna move on to the inside corner of our eye. So just right over here. Great, so you can really see how that chocolate brown color right up underneath your lower lash line really does blend into this really beautiful purple black color. So now I'm gonna take that same chocolate brown and do the same thing on the other side and really just make sure that there is not a lot of pigment and then hold your mirror up really high and place it right at the inside corner of your eye. And then just take your blending brush one last time and just soften and make sure that everything is blended. Okay, great. So once we're done adding all the color and all the depth, now I'm gonna show you what I used to do to brighten the lid and the inside corner of my eye. So now I'm gonna focus on the lid. So I'm gonna take this color right over here. And for this step, you're gonna need a regular eyeshadow brush. Now I'm not gonna use my finger because I do want it to be really bright and a little bit more intense. So I'm gonna take this color, so it's just a champagne color, and it does have a little bit of a shiny reflective pigment. So I'm gonna take this champagne color and I'm going to tap off the excess, and then I'm gonna place this right on the inside corner of my eye. Now you'll notice I'm not doing swiping motions, I am doing tapping motions, because I do want this color to be very, very concentrated and to be really, really pigmented. So I'm just gonna focus right on that spot. Now I'm going to apply one more coat because I do want it to be really bright and really enhanced. So I'm just gonna take this right at the inside corner. This is exactly how I used to do my eyeshadow in high school. So it's so fun just to see it all over again. Just such a fun look. So now I'm gonna take this same champagne white color and place it on the inside corner of my eye. So now I want you to take that color that's just right on top of the gold that we just used. So now we're gonna dip into this white gold color. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. So just a really simple white gold. Go ahead and take it on that same exact brush that we just used and then tap off the excess. And this color, we're gonna place it right at the inside corner on our tear duct. Great, so you can see how I really did just add a teeny bit of brightness right at the tear duct. 
Perfect. Now, once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm just going to soften those two colors just to make sure that they are blended. Okay, great. Now, once we are done with that, now we are going to move on with using our finger. So now I'm going to take a little bit of pigment and apply it to my eyelid. So for this color, you are going to need just your classic traditional copper color. So you'll see this color that's right on top of the bronze. So this is a classic bronze, so it's super, super yellowy. But the color that I'm using is a copper color, so it does have more red and more orange to it. So take it on your ring finger because your ring finger does apply the least amount of pressure. And then you're going to place this copper color right at the top part of your eye, but you're not going to place it on the top part of your lashes right over here because that's where we just placed that really beautiful white gold color. So really make sure that you are putting it at the top part of your crease. I personally really love adding pigment with my finger if you do want a sheer application. So as you can tell in the beginning I did use a brush because I wanted it to be more concentrated but for the top part of my crease I don't want to cover up any of the purple that we just did. So for that reason I am using my finger because overall it does give you a more sheer application. Perfect, so you can see when you start to layer that bronze and that copper color right on top of the purple, it turns your eyeshadow into this really beautiful rose gold purple. So this is the look that I used to do when I was in high school. I used to wear just this like stunning rose gold purple and still till now I think it's so fun and so pretty. So it's so fun to be able to show you these looks and just share you these looks that I used to wear when I was younger. So super, super fun just to take you back to my memory lane. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that same bronze color and apply it to the top of my crease on the other eye. Great, now once you're done applying that pigment, now I'm gonna show you how I like to line and define my eyes. So since we are doing more of a smoky eyeshadow, we are gonna use a black gel eyeliner. Now I did link this black gel liner for you down below. It is only $1 and it is waterproof. It is from shopmissa.com. So I highly recommend that you do check it out. So now I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner brush and I'm gonna coat both sides of my brush. And then be sure to take your gel eyeliner after you're done dipping your brush in and just place it upside down on your counter just so that way your gel liner doesn't dry out on you. Perfect, so now you're gonna take the excess off onto the back of your hand just to make sure that you don't have too much color. Great. Now for this step, I'm not gonna take it up underneath my lashes. Usually I tight line because I wanna focus all the attention on my eyeshadow. But since we are doing more of a smoky eyeshadow look, I am gonna take this gel liner and place it right at the top part of my lashes. But I'm only gonna place it right at the outside corner. I'm not gonna take it all the way to the inside corner. Now go ahead and grab your um, eyeliner blending brush. So I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eyeliner Brush. It's just a really dense um, eyeshadow brush, so if you don't have a brush that's specifically made to blend eyeliner, just grab a really, really dense brush. Perfect, so I'm just gonna blend this eyeliner that's right at the outside corner. So again, I don't wanna take any gel eyeliner and place it all the way on my eyelid. I just wanna place it right at the outside corner because I do want the attention to be on the smokiness of this eyeshadow. And you can overall see how taking that eyeliner and placing it at the top part of your eye and smudging it does make it look like a more smoky eye look. So now I'm gonna take that same gel liner and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, once you're done blending the eyeliner at the top part of your eye, now we're gonna move on to our lower lash line. So for our lower lash line, we're just gonna take whatever's left over on the back of your hand. So take that same exact brush that we did use, coat both sides of your brush. And now take this and put it right in between your eyelashes. Let me move my hair just so that way you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just taking this and placing it right at the inside corner of my eye. If you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that I don't like a really harsh line with eyeliner right at the inside of my eye. Just putting eyeliner at the inside of your eye will make your eyes look smaller. So to avoid making your eyes look smaller, um, make sure that your lower lash line is really soft and really blended. It will make your eyes look more open and more awake. 
Great, so I just got done applying the eyeliner on my lower lash line, and you can overall see how I do get that definition, but I don't have that really sharp and intense line. So just take whatever's left over on your hand, and I'll just show you, look, it's just a really soft, smoky eyeliner. So super, super soft and really pretty, and very easy. You don't have to like freehand this line. So don't get too excited. We are gonna freehand our eyeliner in a second. We are doing a liquid liner. And if you guys have any trouble or if you guys have any questions applying any eyeliner, I do have a video dedicated to applying eyeliner. So go ahead and refer to my eyeliner and lashes video if you just need help applying eyeliner. I do give you some really helpful tips. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my favorite liquid liner. It is from e.l.f. I believe it's only 3 to $4, so very inexpensive. It's amazing. It does not flake, which is great. And also, too, another really great thing about it, it is a shiny black. So a lot of liquid liners that are on the market, they are a matte black. And whenever you take a matte black liquid liner and place it on your eye, we naturally blink throughout the day so our eyeliner can get a little crinkly and it could kind of like crack and flake. So for that reason, I recommend getting a liner that is shiny. It does last longer throughout the day on our eyelid. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the liquid liner. I'm just gonna wipe off both sides of the liner just to make sure that we don't have a lot of liner on our brush. And I'm just gonna place this liner really, really close to my lower lashes. Make sure it is thinner as you go to the inside corner of your eye. Great, now once you reach the outside corner, place your brush and just flick it one time. And then reverse your brush and connect the two lines together. Perfect. So now I'm just going to take that same liquid liner and just apply one more coat because I personally like to line my eyes twice. I do like my liquid liner just to be really intense and really black. So for that reason, I do like to apply two layers. So if you guys want your eyeliner just to overall be really intense and really black, go ahead and apply two coats. So you can overall see how a liquid line does tie this look together. So I'm a huge fan of a liquid liner with this specific look. So now I'm going to take the same exact liquid liner and apply it on the other side. So I'm going to take it really, really close to my lower lashes. Perfect, now I'm just gonna add one more coat because I do want it to be a little bit darker. Great, now once you're done lining and defining your eyes, you can either go ahead and apply mascara. Me personally, I'm going to apply my false lashes and once I'm done applying my false lashes, I'm gonna meet you right back here and show you the final look of the Rainbow Shadow Series Purple Tutorial. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I just got done doing my lashes and mascara off camera. So this is the final look of the Rainbow Shadow Series Purple Tutorial. I really hope you guys love this look just as much as I do. I had so much fun recreating my high school look for you. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment me down below. But I will see you on another episode where we're gonna be dipping into so many fun different colors. And I do wanna thank you again so much for being here. Take care and have a beautiful weekend wherever you are. Take care, bye. -bye. Thank you.